All right, so if I was going to graph negative 4 pi over 3 um, <coughs> into thirds, again, like, we know that in standard form, obviously, guys, we have an x and y axis, right? But I'm just going to erase this for a second because, again, I know that half of that circle measures pi. So if I want to break this into thirds, I really don't want the y axis in there to kind of confuse me. I'm going to break this up into three parts. So now we can say that here is pi over 3. Here is 2 pi over 3. And then here would be 3 pi over 3. Right? So again, if we're at 3 pi over 3, now notice what this fraction is, 4 pi over 3. That means I just need to go an extra pi over 3 over, right? It's in the negative direction. But for right now, you, do you guys realize that 4 pi over 3 is just 1 more pi over 3 pi over 3? Agreed? So, but it's supposed to be in the negative direction. So again, negative 3 pi over 3 is like this. Would you guys agree? That is negative 3 pi over 3. So to go 1 more pi over 3 over would be negative 4 pi over 3. And again, sometimes it might be helpful just to like break it up. 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds, right? You can count. That's not the most useful use of your time, but as you're learning, break it up into thirds and count. Literally 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, OK, yeah, and it's in the negative direction, right? Because five, 4 pi over 3 in the positive direction would be down here. Agreed? Do you guys see the difference and the similarities? Yes? OK. All right. Well, let's see you guys get to work then. Yes?